Hello, welcome to our Frequently Asked Questions and today I'm asking a frequently asked question about blepharoplasty. When can I return to work after having upper blepharoplasty? And in answering this question, we'll look at what is the common recovery time after upper blepharoplasty, how your profession may influence that, how will you look one week after blepharoplasty, and finally, what measures you can do in order to enhance your recovery or speed up your recovery and to ensure that um, you can go back to work looking um, as normal as possible in the soonest amount of time. My name is Dr. Julian De Silva and I'm a London-based facial cosmetic and plastic surgeon and blepharoplasty is the most common procedure that I complete for patients on a daily basis. And the information that I'm discussing with you today is information that I share with my patients frequently. So in terms of what is the average recovery time after having upper blepharoplasty? For most people, you only need to take one week off work before you can return to most normal activities. And so there are some exceptions to this and certain professions where you are more in, in front of high definition cameras, um, high definition video, certainly in um, professions where um, you take part in modeling or camera shoots. Well, I would certainly allow a little additional time to allow a little further swelling and, um, uh, and that that degree of swelling to resolve before having high definition shots. But for most people, one week is an adequate recovery time for upper blepharoplasty. If you have a profession where HD cameras are required and there is more, um, it's more necessary to um, allow more like two weeks or a maximum of six weeks in order to perform those kind of professional activities. How are you going to look one week after the surgery? Well, the three common aspects with any kind of surgery, particularly upper blepharoplasty, are swelling. And generally, 80 to 90% of the swelling will resolve in the first week after surgery. And so there will be some residual swelling even at one week. However, the great majority of the swelling will have resolved. Bruising, well, this is somewhat technique dependent, but certainly in my patients, less than 10% of patients have bruising and most bruising is relatively mild and can be covered with camouflage or concealer makeup. But for most patients, bruising is um, not significant and is relatively minor and generally will resolve within a two week period. However, in after one week, it can be covered with concealer. Now, in terms of the scar, well, the scar will be a little bit pink and a little bit lumpy bumpy, and this is normal for a scar after upper blepharoplasty. However, depending on how the technique is performed, the scar can be largely hidden in the natural crease of the eyelid that actually makes it very difficult to be seen even a week after surgery. And so, although Rarely um, scars can be more noticeable if meticulous care is taken with a surgical technique. Generally the scars are relatively discreet and difficult to be seen even one week after surgery. So what measures can you take in order to enhance your recovery and speed up your healing? Well there's certain measures that are important before surgery and I certainly give all my patients quite detailed instructions on certain medicines, certain herbal medicines that are best avoided before surgery. And these include things, th things that thin the blood. And these um, can be common things such as aspirin, which you might take for a headache, or maybe more herbal type medicines such as fish oils, which should be avoided for a period of two weeks before and after surgery to ensure the chance of having any bruising is, is, is as small as possible. In addition, if you have other medical conditions such as high blood pressure, well, it's very important that this is controlled and within normal limits when you have eyelid surgery. In addition to this, um, surgical technique is extremely important in terms of enhancing your recovery. And there's certain measures that can be taken before and during and after the surgery, but in terms of the surgical technique, taking care regarding the position of the scar and hiding that in the crease of the eyelid, meticulous 
care in order to ensure that there's minimal or no bruising at the time of the surgery. And then other measures such as using more state-of-the-art technology such as biotechnology and PRP, your own growth factors in order to heal the body faster, well these kind of measures will reduce the chance of bruising and enhance your healing um, in a shorter period. What can you do after surgery? Well, it's very important to follow your doctor's instructions and I find that patients who follow these um, follow instructions and take things easy immediately after the surgery, such as avoiding exercise, avoid going to the gym, well this is an investment of time and patients who follow those instructions have an enhanced recovery. So in summary, we've talked about what is the average recovery time after upper blepharoplasty. We've talked about what you are likely to look like one week after surgery and we've also talked about measures that you can take in order to enhance your recovery and make sure you have the fastest possible recovery. I hope this information has been useful for you. Thank you for watching.